What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Bottas Spin and today we're opening another battle set, but it is not Beyblade, it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Battle Arena. Very, very cool. Uh, we did open a mini arena of this before, which was like a, like a little case. Uh, they don't show here, but it is a little case that came with two launchers and two two tops. Um, and we did we did open it on this channel. We did talk about it. We did show it. We didn't like it too much. Uh, but now we actually have an actual arena. It's they call it a mega arena. It's just a normal arena. But you know because these tops are so small, they call it mega arena, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Um, this is a 2014 toy here in Brazil. I, I guess they came out uh, before that outside of Brazil. But yeah, it does come with a decently sized arena. Um, I mean, 40s tops, that is. So as you can see, the box is still a lot smaller than a Beyblade battle set uh, box. But yeah, it does come with two little launchers and two fighters. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we're going to open this and test it and battle it, obviously. And yeah, it's a... It's, uh, they're called they're from ultimate spin strikers of course uh and yeah i think i think these are pretty neat i don't think they are very well executed i don't think they battle very well but you know maybe in this bigger arena we'll have a better time so let's try it out and here we are with everything out of the box um and as you can see it is quite a bit uh but let's talk about the tops first because that is something we already know of uh, of course, this one is Raphael. It is an exclusive Raphael. Let me try to... That's an exclusive Raphael to this set. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. He does look pretty cool. His head is turned a little bit that way. Uh, the paint job is not the greatest, but it is a really tiny, really tiny, you can see, uh, smaller than my thumbnail. It is a really tiny top, so, you know, it's it's an okay paint job, I guess. Um, it's a, it's a decent effort compared to the rest of the set. Uh, and it does come with like this crocodile thing. I don't know what this is called. Does it say here what it is called? Um, it says his name is Leatherhead. So yeah, we got Leatherhead. And uh, these are the two launchers. I will talk about them when we do battle them. But uh, you do put the tops in here. You turn it. And then you press the button. Uh, it is a very fragile launcher. We did already break a few in this channel uh, talking about it, even though we didn't open too many of these. Uh, but yeah, we do know they're easily breakable. We do know that uh, that the tops here, if you see, they do have like little screw parts on them. So they don't always stay in there. It, it's a little gimmicky. It's a little awkward. Okay. These are the railings that go on the arena themselves. Uh, you just put them on there. Uh, no issue on the holes there. I will put them on there in a little bit for you guys to see. But the arena in itself, I am pretty disappointed. It is pretty big, sure, but you can see this these uh, lighter parts is because the light is coming through that. That's how thin this plastic is. This is a really thin plastic, guys. Um, the the other the the small arena, the mini arena. It was a really thick plastic. I, I did expect something like that. Maybe not as thick, but still uh, closer to that. This is really flimsy. Um, as you see, I did put the stickers on. The stickers were... Uh, they're not the great. The, the colors are already fading, I think. But this is a little old, I guess. Um, it is pretty to look at, but it is super thin. And uh, despite it being uh, in box, you can see here... That mine did come with a crack. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see very well, but yeah, it did come cracked already. Uh, and that's, there's nothing wrong with the box. The box is completely fine, uh, but I'm guessing it's just because this is so thin uh, that, you know, bumps on delivery maybe cracked the plastic. So um, it is pretty sad to see. It is, it is very low effort cheap arena um which is never fun to look at it's just not, never fun to play with but uh it is what it is uh we're gonna put the put the little fences on top the the fences on top and we'll do some battles with these two but yeah those are my initial thoughts so let's go
So here we are with everything assembled. As you see, these slots here are for you to put the launchers. As you can see, it is wobbly, it is thin, it is everything about this screen is cheap, but you know, at least it's pretty to look at. Uh, these holes are for the spinners, uh, you know, so it's kind of cool. You can leave them as if they're watching the battle. Pretty cool if you have a lot of them. But yeah, let's try to make them battle. And that's it folks. As you saw, the battles were actually pretty good. Uh, the arena quality is terrible, the launcher qualities are terrible, but the battles were pretty decent, unlike uh, the battles on the small arena. Um, I did like the idea of carrying a small arena to school as a carrying case, uh, you know, very discreet, uh, stuff like that. You know, I thought that was pretty amazing, but as you know, the arena was much too small. Each hit sent the, the other opponent out of the arena and you would lose it you know so it wasn't very fun but here on a big arena it, it actually worked they do spin around they do hit you know they do counter attacks fantastic I, I thought the battles were fantastic in this of course not as cool as Beyblade uh, but you know for their size for um, for what it is I thought the battles were impressively uh, decent right um, but yeah of course the top themselves, the metal part, doesn't change at all, doesn't change much. Uh, also, what changes is the figure, so I'm guessing their aerodynamic and their weight distribution will have a will have an effect on the way they spin. But mostly, uh, it's from the launcher, I think, how many revs you do before you launch it. The thing is, if you do too much, they will crack, they will click, and this will fall off, it will break. So, you know, that's why I was only doing five times. Uh, because I know up until five is pretty safe. Um, but yeah, you saw that some of them um, ended up in draws. Uh, that's because, like I said, uh, the spin top, the spinning part themselves is very similar. The launchers are all the similar. So, you know, there's not much variation to that. Uh, but, you know, the battles were enjoyable for how long they lasted. Um, and yeah, that's all I had to show. Uh, if you guys want, I can uh, try to do a tournament kind of deal. We do have quite a bit of these fighters now. We do have uh, four, five, six, seven. We have maybe eight of them. So, you know, we can definitely do a tournament if you would like to see that in this arena. I think this, that would actually be viable um, in comparison to the smaller arena. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, that's what I had to show you. Thank you guys for watching. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos like this. We are of course focusing on Beyblades, but as you can see, we do bring uh, other kinds of spin tiles from time to time. And sometimes we even bring stuff that are not even spin tiles, but then we try to spin them just to see if we can. So if you're interested in stuff like that, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay nerdy guys.